Oh, Professor Clements with you, an electrostatics problem here. We're going to calculate the potential due to a single charge, and then we're going to calculate the work done to move a, another charge between two locations. So we're on the number line here. We have a charge of 6 nanocoulombs at the 10 centimeter position. Again, nano is 10 to the minus 9. Um, this material connects with chapter 19 if you're using the OpenStax College free online textbook. So we calculate the potential at x equals 30 using the expression kq divided by r. Our k is, of course, 9 times 10 to the ninth. We're given the charge of 6 times 10 to the minus 9. We're interested at the 30 centimeter position. That's 20 centimeters away from where the charge is located. And we have to convert that 20 centimeters into meters. So that calculation is 270 volts. And then what's the potential at 65 centimeters? Well, similar calculation, what changes is the R. 65 centimeters is 55 centimeters away from the charge that's located at 10 centimeters. So we, our R value is 0.55, and our voltage is smaller as our distance is larger than before. So now, suppose we take minus 2 nanocoulombs at the 30 centimeter location and move it to the 65 centimeter location. Will work be required to do this uh, process? The answer is yes. The negative 2 nanocoulomb charge is attracted to the plus 6 nanocoulomb charge. So uh, to fight against that force of attraction and move the charge, we'll have to do some work. We calculate work with uh, Q times delta V. Delta V, the change in potential, is potential final minus potential initial. We've already calculated those numbers. So taking this minus 2 nanocoulomb charge, final position is 65 centimeter, where the potential is 98.2. The initial position, the potential was 270. And we have to subtract to get the change in potential. And a small amount of work is required, 3.44 times 10 to the minus 7 joules. Let's do a different uh, charge and different uh, uh, arrangement in the final location. So we're going to take minus 4 microcoulombs and start at 30 centimeters and move to the uh, position of infinitely far away from our charge. Well, we have to do a new calculation for this potential final. V at infinity is equal to 0. The R value is infinite. And when we divide by infinity, a finite number by infinity, we get a zero. So here's our calculation. The Q times delta V is minus 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. Our uh, initial potential, minus 270, is there. And our work is 1.08 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. A larger work compared to our first work calculation because our charge is larger. So there's a bigger interaction, a bigger force we have to fight against to move the charge out to infinity. So that's how you solve problems involving calculating potential and calculating work, moving a charge between two locations. Uh, so I hope you keep practicing with that and uh, asking your instructor questions.